Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be doing the weekly seasonal challenge overview, which I basically just look at what the challenges are. And these, these videos are mostly for people who cannot get to the game and want to see what the weeklies are or for whatever reason, you know. I'm just doing these because I like to and some people might find it informative. So first and foremost, let's do Contenders Ascent 5, I think that is, or 4, I think that's 4. Report to the war table in the helm and complete the challenger's proven uh, four quest and defeat Cabal using sniper rifles. This one is, oh man, I was I was hoping we would get something cool, but I'm hoping they're building this thing to what it actually is. I'm not going to spoil it because like you actually do find out what's what the Cabal are planning. So I'm hoping that like this is a build up to the actual cool thing that we'll be able to do. If it is, good job, Bungie. This quest was, I mean, it was, I think it was bad mostly because it's just like stuff we do all the time, but the build up to it, like me actually expecting what we should be expecting, if they do it correctly, it's going to be fucking cool. So I'm excited for the contenders ascent. Golden Reaper, acquire Cabal Gold by Plane Strikes, Gambit, Crucible, Public Event, and more. I got this immediately when I logged in, so if you play the game regularly, then you'll get this one because Cabal Gold is really easy to get, thank God. Intruder Alert, don't allow opponents to interrupt ghosts in Battleground missions. Uh, oh, I know which one they're, they're talking about. They're talking about the, the Nessus one specifically. The Nessus one the ghost uh yeah okay that one's not gonna be hard uh just annoying explosive entrance uh oh if you <laughs> i didn't even explain intruder alert that one's basically the the new nessus battleground i think i posted that one yesterday the correct one and in that one you have to let your ghost basically configure something so basically just don't let anyone be there uh best thing to do would be just to have like two enemy two two of your friends in the front and then someone always defending the ghost i mean this one's not really that hard you probably get it without even noticing explosive entrance defeat champions and get grenade takedowns in battlegrounds uh this one shouldn't be hard again it does mean you have to play by at battlegrounds but just treat this as a way to get more gear i am currently doing uh certain things so that way i can get the tier three because the tier three uh engrams let you actually have two perks i'll go through that in another video but uh you're gonna want to do that so this one's not gonna be hard i'm gonna do this on my titan though my titan will have uh the solar grenade exotic that basically turns it into an exploding grenade i'm gonna use that it's gonna be super fun uh, contenders delve complete a lost sector on legend or higher this one's not hard I, I could see it being hard for certain people especially if you're low level but there are a few uh, lost sectors that are not that that hard especially if you get your level up and especially if you have certain builds and whatnot this is just going to be if it's worth it to you Challenges Cypher, Decrypt Prime Engrams. This one's not going to be hard at all. I've had like 10 uh, Prime Engrams in like this week alone. So it, this should be fine. Stagger, Pierce, and Disrupt Champions. This one shouldn't be hard as well, especially if you're combining it with the Vanguard Chosen. These two will come to you very fast because I ran two of them and I'm already at seven. And again, yeah, Nightfall, the ordeal, just complete three. You can complete the basic bitch one or the higher ones. This week you can get shadow price. So, I mean, if it's worth it for you, I'm currently doing it just because I want a better shadow price, but that's just me. High value hunter, uh, defeat powerful combatants in Gambit, earn bonus progress for defeating high value targets. Uh, I haven't done this one yet. It shouldn't be too hard. I'm currently playing Gambit mostly for the weeklies but i am trying to farm weapons as well so you specifically one and then last but not least uh complete crucible matches in the competitive playlist this one's the one that i'm gonna hate because i don't like to go to the competitive playlist if you guys see week two i still haven't completed the showdown just because like i i don't care and uh this one all oh, strikes this one i should have completed last week i don't know why i didn't but that's pretty much it the, these are the challenges for this week let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to, to explain a few things more uh these aren't going to be hard just a little time consuming a little bit not too much hopefully and always remember guys that you're going to want to be complete you want to complete at least the ones that have war table reputation 
because you do get some good stuff from it not only that that's how you progress through the tree and the uh the helm tree which is very lucrative especially on some of the last tiers so good luck grinding guys i will see you guys in the next videos i will be posting outrider video content stuff because i've been playing the shit out of it i've got two legendaries so far and i want to cover that game because i'm probably gonna play the shit out of that game so be safe guys i'll see you guys later